So my name is Austin Wright. I am an assistant professor here at the University of Chicago and I teach in the Harris School of Public Policy. Uh, most of the core courses that I teach are focused on statistics and in particular causal inference and teaching students how to leverage big data to gain insights about the world around us that are both robust, rigorous, and hopefully impactful. I'm really excited that you're here to hopefully join us in our policy research and innovation boot camp. Yo, PRIB ultimately is an experience that we wanted to build out over the last nearly half decade. You know, during the early phases of the pandemic, we decided to draw down some of our in-person offerings. This is an opportunity both for us to reconceive what those experiences might be like, but also to reinitiate those experiences here at the Keller Building. So I'm excited that we'll have an opportunity to share some of the details about the program with you. Uh, thanks for being here and I, I look forward to sharing more. All right, so the Policy Hackathon, which is the final experience of the PRIB program, uh, is a really hopefully challenging, but also fun experience. And it's an opportunity for uh, students working in groups to think about how to address a public policy challenge to do that in a way that's rigorous, that's data-driven, uh, that's creative and innovative, right? And, and in that sense, it really brings together all of the elements of the PRIB program. You know, as you now know, PRIB is multi-dimensional. We have a series of courses that you can take, sections that you can opt in or out of, and those sessions give you insights about the world around you, about how to think about leveraging research for the purpose of research, research for the purpose of policy making and advocacy, uh, and ultimately the goal of PRIV at the very end with this hackathon is to bring all of those skill sets together. You've now learned more about the research process, you've learned more about the policy making process by working in small groups, and you're thinking about how to engage in that innovation. The key eye in PRIV is all about how can we rise to the challenges that we face in an engaging way that takes seriously how we can innovate our way out of problems. And so that's really what the the culmination of the PRIV experience is all about with the hackathon is coming up with a way for you to structure a series of days working in small groups um, to work on a particular policy challenge. So now I wanted to take a few moments to kind of walk you through what that hackathon experience is going to look like. It's at the tail end of PRIV, it's the final three days of that program, and I want to give you a sense of what each of those days are going to be composed of. And so, on day one, you're going to be working in your group on a policy topic. So you're going to be thinking about identifying which issue areas within the topic that we assign you want to work on as a group, how you're going to innovate, what tweaks you're going to make. And then the first phase of that is to begin exploring the data that we will share with you. Part of that is going out and, and retrieving additional information about the program that you want to build, about the idea, the solution that your group wants to come up with as part of it, but of course we will offer some resources as well. It's going to give you an opportunity to go out and explore that data, to analyze it, and then by the tail end of day one, you should be leaving that experience having done some preliminary descriptive analysis of that data, do some data visualization, do some basic data analysis that will enable you to think carefully about as the path your team has chosen, uh, can you actually make a case for it. So that's day one. Moving into day two, what you're gonna be working on is taking all of that work from day one, that exploratory data analysis, the descriptive analysis that you did, and, and if you ended up switching to an alternative, really honing in on what that alternative is and how you can enable uh, your team to be successful through the process of working on a memo. And so that memo is gonna involve, again, the culmination of PRIV is all about how do you go out and do policy research? How do you think about going out and identifying relevant material? How do you go out and find relevant working papers and white papers, whether they be from private sources or public entities? How do you go out and explore academic research, all in the pursuit of building more robust policies? You're gonna flex those skills that you have developed on day two, work on that policy memo together, conduct the literature review, confirm that the solution that you've come up with is generally innovative, or actually to identify ways that you might tweak it to make it even more innovative. Um, that's what day two is all about. At the end of day two, you will have begun the process of drafting your final presentation. And that is ultimately the pitch that you are going to give to our panel of experts on day three. So the beginning of day three is polishing out that presentation, thinking about your approach to the particular policy domain, 
the issue area that you've been given, your team's focus, your team's priorities, putting that all down on paper and eventually on the projector. Because what you're gonna be doing is giving that final presentation and we want them to be polished. And so the morning of day three is all about working in your group to ensure that that part of the work product is uh, as effective as possible, is as communicative as possible, really maps to your group's priorities and what you're excited about, that it's engaging, that it's something that you're really excited to actually share uh, with that, that team, uh, that panel of policy experts. And the way I would think about this, you know, if I were in your shoes, is do I think this is going to be challenging? The answer is yes. Do I think I will actually walk away with it? important skills? Yes, because when you are out in the real world, you're gonna be working on teams to advocate for change. You need to be able to leverage your team members. Think about how do you divide, emphasize the various skills that your team has. How do you leverage those skills, right, um, in that team environment? Part of that is working on written output, the deliverable of day two, that memo. And then ultimately is the ability for you and your team members to stand up in front of a room and give a pitch about a change that you would like to make. This will all help you build towards that ultimate goal. Um, and hopefully for you, it will be a fulfilling experience at the tail end of an otherwise wonderful time here at the University of Chicago in our beautiful city of Chicago.